Hello guys, welcome. So first of all, a small caveat. If you don't know any of the tools of Fury I'm gonna be using, well, check out my YouTube channel as quickly as you possibly can, because there I give full on lectures on every single tool of Fury that I use in my videos. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 1992 Russian mathematical link that is a bit of a problem right there. So A and B are both positive real numbers, both strictly greater than one. And what we're supposed to do is prove that a squared over b minus one plus b squared over a minus one is always greater than or equal to a. Okay, so what do we have in this problem? Well, we have fractions in this problem, which is awful because we don't, we, well, we hate fractions. But what do we also have in this problem? Well, we have squares in the numerators of those fractions. So, well, maybe applying Cauchy's choice inequality will simplify things a bit, yeah? So, we're writing this entire thing. So, a squared, and this square is awful, a squared over b minus 1 plus b squared all over a minus 1 uh, is going to be greater than or equal to by the Cauchy choice inequality to a plus b to the power of 2 all divided by a plus b minus a2 and it's supposed to be greater than or equal to a it was supposed to prove that. Lovely. Well, I honestly know any like theorem I could use here, like, um, you know, some kind of a theorem like uh, conscious choice inequality, let's say. So we, unfortunately, we have to do, we'll have to do this one kind of by heart. So what can we do here? Well, maybe let's first of all try and simplify things a bit. Yeah, simplify things. I mean, not simplify what, what I'm talking about, okay? So I would like to take myself a new variable, yeah? Let's say I will call it x. I would like to say x is equal to a plus b, yeah? And so here we are, I will have x, and here also I will have x, yeah? So, well, lovely. We have that x is equal to a plus b, and by the, well, the condition that a and b are both strictly greater than one, we also get that x is going to be strictly greater than two right there, lovely. Yeah? Okay, so what do we have now? After this substitution made, we have well, our inequality reducing to something like this, x squared over x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 8, which is equivalent by well, multiplying both sides of this inequality by x minus 2, which we know is not 0, it's kind of important that it's not 0 because x is always greater than 2. Awesome. So we're going to get that x squared is greater than or equal to 8 times x and plus a negative 16, let's say. And this is equivalent to saying that x squared minus 8x and plus a16 is greater than or equal to 0. And what is this, guys? Well, it's a perfect square. It's a perfect square. It's a per maybe I will, uh, I don't know. It's a perfect square of a linear factor x minus 4 squared. Yeah? Yeah. It's a perfect square. Lovely. It's supposed to be greater than or equal to 0, but we know that, well, any real numbers, and I guess um, x is a real number if uh, a and b were a real number as well. I, I honestly think that real numbers are <laughs> close by <laughs> on the addition, and so we will get that well, this has to always be greater than or equal to 0 by the laws of mathematics, and I will... Oh. Yeah, that's nice. Okay. Whew. Yeah. I was too tired to talk tonight. Yeah, I, I said for like four hours, but not mind me. Anyway, I hope you like this problem. I hope I didn't make any mistake talking right there. And see you in the next one. <laughs>